SCADA stands for Supervisory, Control, Data and Acquisition. Is a control system architecture comprising computers, networked data communications and graphical user interfaces, for high-level process supervisory management, while also comprising other peripheral devices, like programmable logic controllers, PLC, and discrete proportional integral derivative, PID controllers, to interface with process plant or machinery. There are five functional level of manufacturing control operation. Level 0, contains the field devices of a plant such as flow and temperature sensors, and final control elements, such as control valves. Level 1, contains the industrialized input and output modules, and their associated distributed electronic processors. Level 2, contains the supervisory computers, which collate information from processor nodes on the system, and provide the operator control screens. Level 3, is the production control level, which does not directly control the process, but is concerned with monitoring production and targets. And level 4, is the production scheduling level. In making the SCADA graphics, we need a software that capable to link data from field devices to the workstation. Wonderware in touch is famous SCADA software, used to visualize and control the processes by using an animated design like a plant layout. Let's open up in touch software, and click file then select new. On the pop-up window, browse the location you want to save the file, and click next. Then create directory, and then click next. Now. Enter the name of the InTouch application you are going to build. You can add some description in the provided box. Click Finish, after filling up all needed information for your project. Your project now is already added in your application manager window. Double click it, to open up InTouch Window Maker. On Window Maker menu bar, open up File and then New. This will open up a screen, where you can put the graphics for your SCADA project. On the pop-up window, put a name for your project. You can change the window color by clicking on it. After that, click OK. So this is your screen, you can change size by dragging on the corner. Now let's add some graphics. To start, we will open the tool wizard on the toolbar. In this wizard selection window, you can choose all the graphics you needed on your project. Clicking on each file name will open up different types of graphics. Let's add a switch button. By adding this on your screen, click the graphics and then click OK, or simply double click it. And then click on the screen. You can drag the graphics to change its size. Now. Let's add a light graphics. OK, the operation should be like this. When we push the switch, the color status of light should be change. By doing this, double click on the switch, on the pop up window, put a tag name for the switch. Let's tag it as SW. Define SW. Click OK. Tag name directory will appear. Here, you can change the type of your graphics. For now we will use the type as memory discrete. Same thing on the light, double click it. And then change the expression, because we want to control the light by switching. We will put the tag name of our switch, which is SW. Then we will change also the color status. If switch is false or off color should be red. And if the switch is true of energize, color of light should be green. OK, let's click on the runtime, to see if our configuration is working. As you can see, as we energize the switch, the light turned to green. And when it is off, 
the light turn to red. This is how SCADA system works, by means of graphics you can control field devices remotely. On our next video, we will explore other graphics function of InTouch software. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Every time you hit the like button, you help us growing our channel. Subscribe as well to notify you when there's new video uploaded. Thank you very much and have a good day.